There's a very special side of the internet that believes I don't like Demon Slayer because I critiqued it. From my part of the world, from my universe, if you love something, you critique it. You're honest about your feelings about it. I didn't like a single episode. This was the last episode of Demon Slayer. I get shit. So, I deleted the video. People just don't want you to say anything bad about something they love for some weird reason. You just want boom boom pow pow! Bro, if I wanted that, I'd watch Solo Leveling, but I... Heavily criticize that show. Now I'm gonna watch this episode, and if I like it, I'll tell you. If I don't like it, I'll tell you. I feel like that's what a human being should do, but I feel like every channel is supposed to say nothing but love and positivity when toxic positivity is also a thing. To me, it's worse than negativity. Alright, now that that PSA is out of the way, let's watch this episode and hopefully it's good because if I don't like it, there's probably gonna be a problem on the internet where, and I'm, I'm kinda, I'm so used to it. <laughs> Give this bird an award, goddammit, immediately. Alright, we're going into Muchido's room now. Let's see what the Miss Hashida is doing. There's no dirt in the mind, even if it is clear and passable. There's no dirt in the mind. Even if it is clear and- Bro, I never get these, these- these sayings, these proverbs. I never understand this shit. I just say, ah! That- that makes sense. You should go right back at it after the swordsmith village. Right back to training the NPCs. The way of the sword or the stick. <laughs> Let's face it, he's never gonna die. You wanna hear another positive comment about Demon Slayer? I love this opening. Everybody hates this shit. I love it. I stand by that. To bring a smile to one's face. You don't watch my videos. He's going hard on them. He is not holding back. Y'all might be background characters, but that doesn't mean shit to Tokito. Oh, there's the music from the village. Swordsman's Village, man. One of the best parts about last season. God. <laughs> Todd. Tanjiro, wait. <laughs> oh my god! He is completely serious against these characters in his training. He sees Tanjiro, he's like... Tanjiro! <laughs> Look at this instant change! I love that he loves Tanjiro, bro. Tanjiro's one of them. This episode's already better than the other one. Yo! <laughs> The crow is talking shit to them. I love it. I love that the crow is nothing like Tokito. Talk shit on him. That's right. Tell them the KYS. Aww. I, why do I keep thinking that's that's Nezko in his backpack? Look how happy and inviting Tokito is. Are these birds really fighting right now? I'm still waiting for fucking Chuntaro, bro. Yeah, the handle looks so real, man. Is he going to throw it right through the sword and slices? No way. The aim! Motherfucking Mochido Mochido has aimbot, bro, for sure. Oh my god. Look how calming he is. He has peace of mind now that Tanjiro's been in his life. I forget how normal he is. See, I love interactions like this. Even the interactions between the birds. So I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about that I don't like interactions. I love shit like this. The connection with the master. Worried about him. Tanjiro's looking like a beast, man. He looks older. The growth on his chest. Pick up your Boruto? Oh, Bokudo. When he's not talking to Tanjiro, he's in full teacher mode. Look at this. Heartless mode. But that's how you gotta teach these NPCs, bro. You can't have a heart. What's a heart gonna do? This is their most important moment. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? Why'd you scream in his face like that when you attacked him? Yo, Muchido's like seven years old. And look at him spitting game all all of these teenagers, man. I love it. In that sensei mode, look at this. 
いいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのかいいのか
And that's why he's training him so hard, because he wants them to survive. But maybe words like that will help them. Are we doing a time skip? What the fuck was that? Man, I wanted to see everything between. Swordplay now. But look at Mutino, bro, smiling while he's attacking him. Oh, shit. It's like going in Kilua right now. Oh, oh, shit. See, this is the interaction I like. Seeing Muchiro's growth as a person. Seeing how he used to be. And now, he's friendly with Tanjiro over here. He's more clear with his feelings towards the NPCs. Like, he's telling them, like, I'm training you hard because I want you to survive and live long lives. Like, like a true Hashira. Like a, like a true sensei, man. He's not just b blindly teaching them, just being hard on them, bullying them because he gets paid. You know what I mean? He truly loves them. Yes! Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. Let's bring on the next episode, bro. Let's go. Thank God, you know what? I'm happy they zoomed through it. No! Y'all better go back to the training test. <laughs> Here goes the Tadro faces. Oh, okay. That's what I want to see in my, my action anime. There we go. It's even in his colors. I bet there's a paper plane anime out there somewhere. Tanjiro made a pretty good one. Nah, this is Demon Slayer. <laughs> oh my god! Is this canon? These motherfuckers were flaming me on Twitter for not liking that episode. And they're gonna be like, wait, but you like this episode where Tanjiro throws a paper plane with Michiro? Yes, yes, I do. I do, I prefer this. We're seeing these characters do stuff other than fucking Demon Slay, man. We're seeing them live their lives. Like, finally, man. You think this is what they live and breathe? Like, look at them. They're having fun. Think all I do in my life is anime? Wow, Tanjiro. You fucking suck. Somebody told me Demon Slayer would have an episode about throwing paper airplanes. I don't know how I would have reacted to that. But I love it. I love it so much. This will get you to kill the demons. You can throw paper airplanes at them. Muzan's gonna have an airplane battle. Is that what the Infinity Castle is, bro? All the NPCs are gonna come and throw paper airplanes at him. I wouldn't even doubt that's what's gonna happen. I think I just predicted the end of Demon Slayer, to be honest with you. <laughs> I love this fucking bird! Aww. You know what? I ship these two birds. They ain't that fucking weird ass Bakugo Deku bullshit, bro. I ship these two birds. That's some real love right there. Tanjiro should have gave his airplane his backstory. He would definitely win this. <laughs> Bro, it reminds me of that anime opening with the flying bras and underwear. <laughs> oh my god. What a nice shot. Wow. A calm before the storm. Playing with paper airplanes right before we confront Michael Jackson, the demon. I wonder if this is a metaphor. The airplanes, they're flying away. Tantro finally decided found out how we're gonna take down Muzan. It's pretty good, man. I thought seeing Muchido again would be like, oh, like we saw him already, come on. But I actually enjoyed this episode. I guess we're seeing a different side of him. You know, like the, the last episode of uh, the Swordsmith Village side of him that we weren't really able to see, but we saw it this episode. Then we saw it with uh, 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 Sanami and, and Obanai. That was sick, man, that fight. And then the paper airplane throwing contest. Tanjiro this is peak. peak Demon Slayer right here. Peak Slayer. This could be the last episode of Demon Slayer, bro. You hear this victory-ass music? Everyone's so optimistic right now. Finally, Orakataki! Holy shit! <laughs> Just look over her! Finally seeing him again! Fuck yeah, we are! Might have to wait for the movie theater for that one, but I'm ready! Woo! Wait, that looks like there's an ending credit scene. 
Let's go, Bubblebee bitch. Oh, fuck! Wait, we're going to Mid City now? We're gonna beat Muzan with paper planes and bumblebees. I knew it.